Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover properties in SOAP UI. So I'm moving to the next slide. What is properties? So properties can be defined similar to the variables like while working with the, any of the programming language, we are creating variables. In SOAP UI, properties are similar to the variables. It can hold some value which can be changed, can be used. Moving to type of properties. So we can create multiple type of properties over here like global properties, project level properties, test suite level properties, test case level properties, and then steps level. So moving to the SOAP UI, Here is the SOAP UI. So first I'm moving to the global properties. I'm going to this file, preferences. Here we have the option of the global properties. We can define these global properties like I have defined the JIT global and given the value 10017. Click on the OK and here my one property is created. We can check it that is created or not. So I'm going to the property here global property and we can see the property is there. We can create the property at the project level. So that is my project and double click on that. So that is the project window. Here we have the option of the properties. We can create the properties over here. So I'm creating a property chip project so I'm creating a project level property and again giving the value 10018 in the same kind we can create the property at the test suite level so I'm going to the test suite here the properties click on this JIT suite so I mentioned like 10020 in the same way I can go to the test case level here we are getting the property Click on, click on this, click on the property, JIP case, and I mention like 10022. So we have seen like we can create the global properties, we can create the test suite level properties, we can create test suite level properties, test case level properties, and the project level properties. So what's the difference between them? So we can easily understand that global properties can be used in the multiple projects. All the projects that we are going to create in the SOAP UI, we can use global properties. Project level properties can be used inside the project, means if we have the multiple test suites inside the project, so in all test suites we can use the same properties. Suite level properties can be used inside the test suite, we can use it in the multiple test cases. Test case level properties can be used by multiple test steps. So next level that we are moving, like we have a properties test step. So here is the test step level properties. I can go to the test step, which is a properties. Here I can create the property. So I just mentioned JIP step and I'm giving some value. So where, here we have seen like we can create a properties test step which can hold multiple properties. So I can create multiple properties over here like JIP step 1 and given the value 10025. Now we have seen like we can create the property inside the test case as well by creating the properties test step. Now I'm going to use the properties that I have created in the global test case level, suite level, project level and step level. So I'm going to the step 1, here I need some data. As of now I mentioned this data is static but I want to pick this data from properties. So here I'm using the SOAP UI Pro, so I'm getting this option, click on this, get data, then I can either pick the value from the global properties, I can pick from the project level. I can pick from the suite level, pick from the test case level 
or I can pick the data from the step level. So whatever you know the property that we are picking, it shows over here. Because I am using the SOAP UI Pro, so we are getting this UI option. If not, then we need to set it into the XML file. So while setting the XML file, we need to take care like it started with the dollar, curly braces, it's you know step name or the you know global or the project name or test suite name or case name, then hash and your property name. So I'm coming to like uh, on a GUI part, I'm selecting it to pick it from the global or pick it from the project. So now we can see in XML first the dollar curly braces hash project and then hash property name. So uh, if you are working on you know SOAPI only, we have to set the values in the XML. But if you are working on a SOAPI Pro, then UI option will be available and we can directly put the data from here. So that's all we have from the property side. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more about us, you can go to the website www.thetestingworld.com. If you want any training support, you can call us or WhatsApp us 8743913121. If you want to check our students' feedback, you can go to this URL. Thanks, thanks for watching this video.